Well, happening now, the city of East Point is facing backlash after nearly a million dollars of taxpayer money was stolen and what the city calls an email scam. A lot of cash here. We're talking just under $800,000. The city was wired to pay four fake invoices after someone hacked the city's email system. So that was in 2021, but the public just found out last month after an audit. And now some are calling on the city council to fire the city manager. 11 Live's Cody Alcorn sat in on the city council meeting. Cody, you are joining us live tonight outside of City Hall. What went down in there? Well, Faith, one thing to keep in mind, city manager Darren King was actually the deputy city manager when this phishing scheme got the city. He was then appointed city manager, and this still never came to light. And that's why nearly everyone but two people who signed up for public comment tonight either asked for him to be fired or placed on leave. It was a full house inside East Point City Hall Monday night. The majority of the seats filled with residents looking for answers and how a city wired $1.2 million to pay fake invoices to a fake company. We demand accountability. We're not going to take it. We demand accountability and transparency. The money wired in late 2021. Once the security breach was uncovered, the city says the Secret Service managed to freeze one of the wire transfers, but it was already too late. The other three transfers cleared. $785,090 of taxpayer money gone. It's embarrassing. The missing money never disclosed to the public until an audit report was released in late July, almost two years later. This is public money. This is public trust. City Manager Darren King citing an ongoing federal investigation as to why the missing money was kept from residents. The ones Monday night standing feet away from him demanding accountability. He needs to be fired tonight because that's a lot of money, a lot of money. And you guys are being held accountable. However, others asking for patience as the investigation continues into who knew what, when, and how a city lost nearly $800,000. We cannot be so much judge and jury at the same time. You just can't come and say, uh, fire someone. I implore you for the good of the city and the good of the citizens of East Point, let the process play out and then make your take your action. Now, I did reach out to all city council members, the city of East Point, and the city manager himself. Only Councilwoman Gordon got back to me, and she said, look, after all of this, she does believe that they need to assess leadership. And she says, as of tonight, though, no action was taken, even though, again, 20 out of 23 of those people who stood up were demanding something do happen.